Hello and welcome back to the final world of Collages Mixtape 2. Uh, it is World 7 and it has some of my hardest levels I have ever made. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to record this in one day. Um, let's just get to the first level already. <laughs> just get it over with. Uh, this level is called Talking of Axes, and it is my boomerang power-up level. Now, actually, it's been a while since I've even looked at this level, and I only really put it in this world because it is rather confusing. <laughs> a little rather confusing to look at. Um, I actually feel like this level is easier than Revival, um, but I had to choose between this level and Revival to uh, put in this kind of world. I can't fucking... I forgot how to do this first part. I don't think I can just do it. Oh my god! Uh, I, yeah, that's how you do that part. Um, what if I actually just beat this, like, really quickly? <laughs> That'd actually be kind of insane. I guess I'll go to the practice to see. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn around and turn left there. Uh... I'm supposed to have a spiny shell here, right? Oh my god. Is this... Because I'm pretty sure I made it to where the spiny shell pretty much goes all the way to the end of you. Oh yeah, because I'm supposed to do that. Okay, I see. Doi! Doi me! Okay, I'm not even at that part yet, so I'm gonna make sure I get this part. I really love this hammer setup. This is like a, a 3D World exclusive thing. It like... It's kind of jank on where the the spiny uh, at the beginning there falls. It doesn't go in the same spot every time. I oh realize now this is a reclaim that I'm doing on of it. Um, but the hammer actually allows it to where, no matter where it goes, at least if it the spiny lands more on the left side than it does the right. I think it doesn't really matter if it like goes more to the rightish. I think it always gives me a reclaim. But yeah, it, would, it, it just pretty much lines it up for me. Oops. I gotta admit, coming back to this level, this level kind of looks really fucking ugly. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I would, I, how would I even make this level look any better. It's kind of it's kind of tough. Um, with 3D World Power Up levels, you gotta add like a lot of these cheese to um, make sure you know, you know, for these cheese. Oh, dude. I'm a little unsure on how I do that part. Honestly, that part's a little out of place, I feel. You gotta like wall jump and then grab the bomb after. And then throw it. What did I do wrong? I didn't hit a switch somewhere. I'm sure these 99 lives I've got in the last level are gonna really work out for me here. I'm still wondering how I even made this level because, like, the boomerang just goes all over the place. <laughs> like, right there, I go under it, which is kind of fucking insane. Oh, right. There's a bomb that's supposed to, like, I think come over here and explode it. I think that's why that's not happening. Also, in this beginning part, um, this little... This piranha creeper that goes up, when I shoot the last boomerang on it, um, it can either like bounce off like that, or sometimes it um, it breaks like on it, and I think I actually don't know why that happens. And I'm pretty sure I can really like, test it right now. Yeah, like it, it it sometimes breaks, but like I I thought it was because it does it on it hits on the stem, but that's not the case. Like it's it's kind of weird like that. Yeah, Bronic creeper the buckles are jank anyway. Oh yeah, I remember. That's why I'm, I'm I I have the muscle memory for this. I was like, wait, why am I turning doing this to the left? And it's because I need that bomb to go up. Right, 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 right. I think I gotta do it like as late as possible. Yeah, right. There. And then I yeah, okay. Yeah. Holy crap, there's so much going on in this fucking level, man. <laughs> yeah. 
So if that yeah, that switch is not on, that means that I um I didn't hit the uh, bomb properly. Oh, also, um, I believe uh, it's kind of relevant right now since uh, zero percent is like almost done with uh, SMM. But I people are gonna be going uh, to SMM two after that, and this is actually still unclear as you can see from the timer. Uh, there's no world record. Uh, this is my last uncleared level of 2021, I believe. And this is my, yeah, my oldest and my last uncleared level of 2021. It's kind of crazy to me that a lot of my levels are cleared. Oh, dude. I think I'm going too slow or something. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. Okay. I'm gonna try my best not to use a clear video as per uh, usual. So I need to just try to figure this out. I might I might eventually use a clear video. Um or some other levels coming up, but uh, for now I'm gonna just try to stick away to not do it. So it's exploding there. That would to that bomb explosion would totally hit it. So I'm wondering if it's because I'm too slow here and like I'm off screen from it. Why is that happening? My head's already like immediately going to like, did Nintendo do something? Because that should work. I believe things off screen can still like, I mean, it's not even off screen really. Jank ass level, bro. Who made this shit? Okay, I'm gonna do a little experimenting. I need to see. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that's going way too up. Oh, finally. Oh my god. Here's me thinking like, damn, did Nintendo patch something? <laughs> Silly me. Oh my god, I'm too slow. Holy shit. Yeah, the only reason I have that conveyor right there, by the way, is because I, um... That shell needs to be in a certain place for this the next trick to work. Things by far might like as of recent levels. I mean, well, this is now three years old at this point. What the fuck? I I still think of this as a recent level. Uh, but like as of recent levels, I guess um, it looks very ugly. <laughs> I hate the way this looks, but it's just how it's just how 3D world works, man. That's why it's that's why it looks ugly. Okay, so yeah, the flick. No, yeah, after that part. I need to go as fast as I possibly can. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Oh, that time it went too early. <laughs> um, what the fuck? Ah, I forgot. So hard. Where's my indicator collage? Where the fuck is my indicator? Gotta say though, I really love the flow of this level. Even if it looks ugly, I love the flow of this level. If only I can make it look prettier. Ah. I forgot which direction I go in after this. I'm pretty sure I go like that and then like do that or something. Oh my god, this next part is like, it feels... Uh, looking at it, I, uh, remembering it, it feels like it was Tass only. Like, I don't remember how the fuck I made this shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta re-grab that, um, boomerang. I mean, I guess you can do that. It just doesn't feel right. It ruins the flow of the level, I got to say. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I love that section. I, 
It's not task, bro. That part's like actually easier than it looks. I just realized that I was like, wait, I'm just like holding right essentially and holding jump. <laughs> I just put a fucking door here. Lol. Where's this go? I think it's because I didn't line up properly. Oh yeah. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck did I get in this part, man? This part's... I'll uh, figure it out when I get there. Let me do this shit properly. Why the fuck is it happening? Okay. I'm gonna do something real quick. Real quick. Because I need to check if this practice and the real level is the same. Just real quick. Because this shit is like... It, it feels like it shouldn't be this jank. It's only two... So if I would have put like another on-off switch and thing there, it would have worked. I don't know why the fuck it's like this. I think I might have made this wrong. Back this part. Check. Nope, it is exactly like that. Well, fuck me, right? I should have put like a ceiling or made it three tiles. That's fucking stupid. I think it was just a roll there. Yeah, a flick. Roll. And I think I bounce here. Do that. And then like something like that. And then like long jump or some shit. I uh, heard yeah, yeah, I think I think I got it. I forgot I added this. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's how I did it. Okay. I realize how cool that is. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! 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 You know what? I'm gonna see if I can fluke it. Fuck it. I already know what to do. I'm kind of like really tired right now, so I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to practice and just put more attention to the actual level itself. Oh, oh baby. Oh my god, I actually made it to that part like almost immediately. Ah! Fuck. Let's see if I can fluke it. I can smell the end soon. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fluke this. Fuck. Ah! We'll count that. We'll count that. <laughs> Fuck, I had the box and I could have thrown it, man. Damn it! Ah. I would say it's like, oh, am I gonna cheese it right now? Oh my god, I swear to god if I beat this one. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that red coin. That would be so tragic. Ah! Oh my god. I almost pissed my pants because of that. No way, dude! I'm so tired right now, I just want to get this over with. Oh, it's too slow. Too slow. Too slow! Ah! Oh, I turned left, dude! I turned to left! Oh my god, I'm twice. Twice in a row. You can't be fucking serious. Oh! 
No! No! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, that's painful, man. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, oh, just before sub three hour. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Shit, I am not doing Gunslinger after this. Fucking box trick is so jank. <laughs> I mean, it's not jank, you just gotta go super fast, and it's so in innocuous it's so in it's just so awkward to do it <laughs> i think the clue check took like at least one hour but like oh my god dude that should have not taken five hours to do okay that's one down this might be a five day journey we'll see next level up is gunslinger but uh, I'm not going to do that until next time I record, so I'll see you then. Alright, I am back. Um, took a bit of a few days to uh, prepare myself for this level now. <laughs> uh, I gotta imagine this grind is, for this world is going to take a while. For some reason, I feel, I hope, that this level is going to take um, not as long um, as it took for talking of axes but i don't know we'll see um i made this little way i think two years uh two years after uh talking of axes so i do have somewhat the recency of like muscle memory into it. Oh, uh this level um some of y'all may may be familiar with it because uh, Lil Curbs actually made a video on this level, which is uh, very, very wild to me. <laughs> was back after like I posted like I don't know how many how many uh, how many levels. Oh my god, thirty minutes, thirty hours. Let's say. Uh, it was like I don't know ten levels because I was on a break, and then I guess he saw it and then decided to grade this one out. So the thing with this beginning is you uh, you don't really know who seats. I feel like this would work in like actual 3D world, but you can't. What is it? You can't roll um, when uh, when you're when you have a mass. So what I did in this beginning, just to kind of like uh, use that mechanic, you can roll into uh, one of these masks, and it will like let you keep rolling, and you can actually. Um, oops. Uh, shoot your shot here uh, with the the bullet mask, whatever this is, called, cannon mask. And you do have to roll, it's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you get crushed by it, Thwomp. I made it specifically that you need a roll, so you need to get there fast. And then after the roll, uh, I do a long jump. And I think that's something that does, I mean, I think I've seen like a lot of tech of it um, in like 3 year old speedruns where like they roll and then go into a long jump and I'm pretty sure like, that's kind of like a fast way of moving, at least like without a cat soon, I'm pretty sure. Kinda, you should, yeah, okay, so I keep getting that, but I need, a, I need a shoot to the left before I go into that pipe. Dude, it's my stick flick. It's my stick flick. It's my stick flick. Oh my god, my stick flick is gonna fuck me over a lot in this level. I feel like oh, I feel like my stick flick is way worse than it was than I was when I was making this level. So this level's gonna be really hard for me. Now that I think about it, there's a lot of those like little like quick flicks that you do in this level. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I'm not supposed to be shooting to the left. The bomb is supposed to. No way. No wait. Oh, duh. Duh, 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 duh. 
Wait, 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 wait. I'm stupid. Never mind. Wait, hang on. I think I completely forgot how to make this level. How I made this level. Oh, I'm almost there. Okay. Alright, okay. Now that I got that movement down. This part's free. Oops. Oops. I keep forgetting to shoot there, man. It's not very obvious that you need to shoot there. Feels like you need to shoot back first. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot. Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, now we can go into the practice. Only took 20 minutes. Forgot the beginning. That's fun. Oh, shit. The beginning is like the most fast paced part about this level, luckily, so it gets a little bit more toned down later, but it is still, it still is hard after that part. That's that's more of a timing thing you need to do because the bullet can only go so far when you're like that. Uh, I guess far ahead of you when you're going that fast. So you kind of got to do that. Right now. Why did I put this here? I have no idea. You know what? I really don't know why I put those auto switches there. Oh, you know what? I think it's a, I think these auto switches are an artifact of me making the practice sections, because I usually do that, like, whenever I'm making practice sections, um, I put on-off switches there just in case the on-off state is, like, in a certain spot, um, like, I, I, that's, like, usually, like, the first thing I put, uh, just to make sure I have it there, and then if I need it, you know, like, make it to where that the, uh, make it to where the, uh, section, um, requires it to be on, but I guess I just... Yeah, I, why, I don't know. It looks weird now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, then it's like a re-grab right there. Oh, that? Oh, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. It's the fact that I'm like hitting it like very... I'm hitting it too soon between each uh, jump. Kind of the thing with the Piranha Cooper, if like, you gotta do multiple jumps at the same time on it, like way too close to each other, um, time-wise, uh, it will like shoot back a little faster. I, I need to like um, make my jumps a little bigger. I think it's what it is. Maybe it's the other way around. Okay, well, that's definitely progress. <laughs> I think, yeah, maybe the other, way, the other way around that, maybe like hitting multiple times makes it shorter. Oh, yeah, and you got a crown pumpkin, so, okay. Uh. Oh, that's why I put it. Oh, never mind. I'm smart. Just in case you go into that too early. I'm pretty sure that's definitely exactly why I did that. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, you don't. I, I don't know uh, if it's too obvious, but you don't want to uh, activate these P switches yet. I'll show you why. I put piece switch lost. You're gonna want to do that piece switch. Uh, you want to actually activate it a little, a little later at that part. That's quite tricky. Jump right there. Oh my god. Okay, so right there, that's the hardest part of the level because those inputs are really quick to do. Holy shit, I think that's the second one. practice door. Yeah, I think I put that spring there, so like you kind of get the um, the movement of the long jump, or not the movement, the speed of the long jump. And how you want to like address it. Yeah, and then to do these ground bound cancels, like they're really, they're pretty tough to do. 
Oh, yeah. Um, that just reminds me of something that... Also, King Boo uh, made a video on this level. Which is also pretty cool. Uh, and he... The way he does this part... Like, honestly... Oops. I need a big jump there. It's actually really insane how good he is at grabbing on cancels. He... I think that part was very easy for him. <laughs> for me, uh, not so much. Damn, dog. Yeah, that's the... That's the second one right there. I gotta say, though, that movement feels good to you on the stick. Rats! Okay, I think I got that properly. And the sec the last last door is just that jump right there if you want to practice it. Is that an extra door left? Oh, yeah. It is a fairly tricky jump, I gotta say. That works. Alright, I think I'm good to go. To be honest. Dude, okay. Oops. I didn't mean to throw there. Oh! Oh! Dude, that... Fucking shot right there is really tough. Oh, a huge PB right there. Oh my god! I pressed down like way too long, man. Oh, that's a PB, I guess. Oh god, I did it again. I might need the soon. Oh shit. Only an hour? That's crazy though. Oh! Oh, dude, the spike bomb, man. Uh oh. Oh my god, dude, I didn't jump. God! Damn it, dude. Do I need to practice that? Oh my god, dude. Really? That's so fucking stupid. I get it first try in the practice. Oh! What's up here? Oh, I thought I put a piggy down there. I don't think I can put a piggy anyway. Yeah, I, I can. Got the little buster for you. Luck can get off. Oops. Just the game. go. Boom! Bop! Hour 30, man. Not that tough of a level. I should have put that in an earlier world then. I don't know where I would put it, but... Uh, you know what? I think it fits. I think it fits the theme of this world. Okay. Alright, well, uh, surprisingly, I'm, I'm really surprised talking of Axis took that much longer than Gunslinger here, because Gunslinger, man, I, I thought that, I thought this level was going to take like four hours, but uh, I guess not. Um, uh, next level is up, it is Fork Funeral, and this is actually, 
70 second level right i think i used really like all 70 seconds of it so uh i'm gonna save this for later uh i'm gonna cut uh <laughs> until i uh, start running this so i need to go eat right now uh good luck future collage <laughs> i s okay so i think it's been i don't know like a week or so since i've been talking of axes here oh wait this isn't talking about because this is a gunslinger. Gunslinger, I meant to say. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just wasn't ready for this level quite yet. I'm um, I'm a little concerned that uh, how long it's gonna take. So because these first two levels really show me like it's really I don't know. It's 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 probably gonna be variable. Uh, these are like the two hardest levels in the in the uh, super world. And this level took me seven hours, I remember, uh, to clear check. So for all I know, it can take another seven hours or it can literally take an hour. I have no idea, but we're going to see. But yeah, this is uh, Fork Funeral. Um, this is my... Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to explain it now. It's my 6,500 level uh, for getting 6,500 points in versus. Oh, ain't that wonderful. Ow, great start. I've yet to make my 7k level because I haven't gotten 7k yet. Haha! <laughs> oh shit, yeah, turn back there. Uh, it was kind of the same idea as my 6k level Wi Fi tiers, but uh, I just did more like. Oh shit, yeah. Just more. What was the point of Wi Fi tiers? To add stuff from verses in a Kaizo S form? Kind of like that. I'm not sure if I did it properly in this level either, but you know. It's whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. This first jump is so weird. I don't know why I made it like this. Luckily I have um practice pipes this. So you wanna turn back here and put on the shelmet. And then spin jump on the bomb there. And I forgot kinda of forgot how to do that. I actually recently looked at the clear video, um, because I I was trying to troll someone. In someone's chat to clear my unclear 2021 level. Oh, look at this level still unclear. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I wanna go in the chant there. Okay. Oh, and then I spin jump. Yeah. Actually, I think this next jump might be a control jump, I wanna say. <gasps> oh, I am so dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm on the wrong scene. Hold up. This level really has a lot of awkward movement. As with the essence of... Something like that you gotta do. It's really weird. Oh, okay, I gotta do a little, little, a little later. Ooh, that's why I wanna... That's why I put that... The uh, somebody's all out there. Tell me when I want to ground pound cancel. Oh, okay, that's progress. Okay, so <laughs> I really love the the way I made you um, duck jump here. <laughs> Not duck jump, just duck in that part. Because there really wouldn't have been anything else that would have worked properly. I think it just kills your speed, to be honest. And, yeah, I want to throw that spring and then duck again. Oh, yeah, I remember this next part's gonna be really. I actually have no clue. Even though I watched a clear video, I just gotta like figure it out. Oh, yeah, you see? Uh, kills your speed. I feel like there's a way you can fix that. But even if you. If you didn't, even if you don't hit the piece, so it could still be the time, because I'm pretty sure there's like only three seconds of leniency in this level. Oh, dude. Okay, that's right. I think, right? No, it's not right. I gotta spin jump. I gotta spin jump on this. Yeah, okay. Oh, and then you're supposed to go in that. Yeah. I guess we go in the pipe. <laughs> I'm supposed to grab that, I believe, and then throw it. I'm getting into the level. I'm really getting into the level now. 
I'm locked in. I'm getting locked in. Hashtag locked in. I was a bit unsure coming into it. Being like, uh, I don't know, man. Still seems really weird. It is weird, but I'm starting to get more into it right now. By the way, have I even been, like, killing any piranha plants? Oh, there's one. <laughs> I forgot about the clear con here. There's only, like, a few piranha plants you actually really have to go for. Ooh, I'm about to get game over. I should probably check what game over that's gonna be on. But yeah, there's only, like, there's only a few, uh, uh, piranha plants you have to get throughout the level level. The rest just die by themselves. I only, you know, I only did it for the funny 69. Yeah, honestly, this this part right here with the thwomps, it doesn't really matter if you control jump or not. It just matters when you jump off of the spring there. It's like at the very end you need to. So you just gotta like... You gotta finesse with it a little bit. It can be a little variable, but it's not like the worst variability in the world. <laughs> Speaking of variability... There's a similar there's a similar jump to this in open hour coming up next. <laughs> that actually is uh exactly like that. Oops. Uh, oh, 31st game over. Call it whatever I say after that. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to drop it here, jump there, and then spin jump on it. Go onto the cloud. Okay. Lol. I wish I did something like that instead on this level. <laughs> Feels way more smoother. I can't believe that still works. Oh, and then I twirl. Go this way. Spin jump. Go up. And then go into the pipe. Yeah. I wish I didn't put that cloud there, but... Um, I only did it just so it's like... Uh, I mean, I feel like it would be consistent, nevertheless, to grab it, but I think it was- I did it just to nerf it. It'd look a lot cleaner if I just didn't have it there, but it's fine. I was at a time of this part of the level-making process where I'm like, Oh, dude, I just want this to work, and I just put the cloud there, and it happened once, so I was like, you know what? I'll just keep it there, fuck it. Yeah. That's not how you want to do that. Okay, well, we're practically at the practice section. <laughs> practice section's a little scuffed, but it works. Only took 30 minutes to figure that first section out. Oh boy. How long is it gonna- This is the- this second section's the, I think, the hardest part about the level. Uh, it's the longest part, too. Oh, I did the triple. Yeah, it's just to get it up there. That's the only time I've ever used that type of triple jump, by the way. <laughs> it's in this level. But I thought it was a cool use of it. Oh! Bro, I completely forgot they wa I wanted myself to do that. That is such a weird jump. <laughs> I do find it interesting uh, that I did for this level. The fact that it kind of inverses the level beam? Is that the best way of saying it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I'm not supposed to do a big jump there. Yeah, kind of inverses the level theme from uh, Wi Fi Tears. So, like, Wi Fi Tears was a castle um, theme in the first one, Oops. and a jungle theme in the subworld. And I guess the airship, you could say, is kind of inverse of a castle theme. And then the, it's a night theme version in the subworld here. And it's also vertical. I, don't know, I thought that was an interesting touch I did. Uh, that's not gonna work. I just thought I just put all the fucking piranha plants here that you need to kill. Oh, then you need to hit that spring. Uh, throw it that way. Yeah, all the piranha plants you need to kill are this way. It's so dumb. 
I actually learned this way quicker than the first section somehow. Possibly, possibly early clear. No! I guess you could do that. Did I do that part right? I think I did it part right. Oh, okay. Uh, we figured that out in like 10 minutes. You know my clear check video that I did for this level? I actually didn't, um, I kind of bonked a little bit on this part. <laughs> Part's a little weird, that's whatever. Okay, on to the next practice section. That's not too bad. Oh yeah, and then you do the spin jumpy thing. Damn it. I think I was a lot worse at these three tail jumps uh, than I am now because I've been practicing for verses. Haha! <laughs> oh my god, no wonder I put it in. Ow! Oh. oh, left, 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 left. Oh, okay. I remember. You gotta, like, start ground pound cancelling almost immediately after you throw that spring, man. It's really hard to do it when you're, um, spinning like that, I feel. Oh! I gotta, like, commit to that spin jump right there. No! Okay. If that happens in the real level, I'll be so sad. That's it. Well, I guess I'll be putting that in the video. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh, that's like... Uh, <coughs> now that the hour marks. Only took an hour to learn the whole level, now we gotta do it all at once. Oh my god, I did not mean to carry that. Ah! Come on! That jump's a little jank, man. Okay, where does that's my PB. Oh! <laughs> oh! I'm getting fucked over by this again. That's definitely a cock block the level, I gotta say. Fuck it, we ball! I have no idea if that would work or not, but, uh, by the off chance it does, oh my god, dude, that'd be so funny. <laughs> See, I, like, I would want to get deaths like that with that fucking bumper, but, like, oh my god. It's the fact that I'm dying to this stupid shell bullshit that I... Why did I make it like that, dude? Ugh. I'm recording on the wrong scene. <laughs> Lol. Oh. Yeah, 33rd game over, lol. <laughs> No way, dude. I just hung too early. Oh. I, I, I'm probably dead. Okay, well. Too bad you. I don't, this is not gonna work. No way, dude. No way! Oh, I guess I'm doing this again. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
I did not mean to do that, man. That was sick, but I did not want to do that. I swear to god, you just fuck up that part by just being too good, man. <laughs> so stupid. Fucking hell, man. Why is this jump so fucking garbage? Who made this shit? That would've been crazy if I got the clear with the weak lane. 34th game over, I guess. Fuck. That's insane that I actually died to my iframes there. Oh my god. That's actually insane. I didn't realize how poor that tight how tight that part is, man. Oh my god. I'm dying to the fucking muncher, dude. That's insane that I'm dying to the muncher. I'm gonna actually like choke someone. Fuck! Luke it for the life of me. I mean, it could work. I don't know. I've got a smiling. Alright. Here we go. Fuck! Of course it happens at a 38 hour mark. That's my PB. Ah! I'm just being terrible. Why? My hands get so sweaty, dog. Do I, do I need a home button to just wipe my fucking hands real quick? Dude, after that part, it's so free. It's so free. Oh, I'm being so calm. You know what? Fuck it, I am. I'm home buttoning here. Fuck this shit. I need to wipe my hands for this. <laughs> it's not an illegal. It's not an illegal move. I swear. Bro, no way that just happened. No. Don't mind me. Oh my god, finally! Holy shit! Oh. Still uncleared, but uh... There's the level, man. I knew it was gonna be free after I did that Grand Pound Cancel shit. Oh, I gotta take my picture. I gotta take my picture. What's up, Bob? Thanks, Miku. How many attempts did it take to complete this level? Uh, I have no idea. Um... But I can tell you the time. Um, so this level took uh around. I actually like for the past other levels in the super world. I like. Which because I count all the deaths, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm just gonna take an average. So you'll know when this video comes out. At least the estimate. Because I cannot be bothered to actually count every single fucking death anymore. I've been like going off on and off on this fucking level for the past like. 
What do you call it? Uh, two or three weeks. Oh, can you guess what level's next? Oh, you want to take a sneak peek at what this level? I'm about to. I'm gonna have to play for this video. <laughs> oh my God! Well, who made this level? Oh, shit. I'm not gonna play this today, by the way. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that right now. For some reason, I always want to say, since I've done so many of these recordings, I want to say, oh yeah, welcome back to Collage's Mixtape 2. No, I'm, I'm still, like, in the same fucking video. <laughs> anyway, uh, I did a little preview. I mean, it's like, if you're watching this, you know what level this is. This is my now my second hardest level. Um, the fact that it is my second hardest level, um, I'm wondering if it's going to take less time at all. I actually do. I like this part, but I wish I had done it in the subworld and just gone into the subworld immediately. It's kind of weird. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention, so I was, <laughs> I, was uh, I was looking at something else for a second. I guess that was my 34th game over at LOL. <laughs> Finally, in the pipe, though. Oh my god, okay. Um, I am not going to continue from there, because I definitely need to just practice. I'm, I'm not... I am not going to <laughs> try to get progress just from there, or going into that pipe. So, um, this level has practice section. I really wish I put that pipe lower down. So the practice sections, uh, uh, they're, it's weird. Um, so I have practice sections in this level, uh, in the south, or I guess in the main world. Um, but since it's a vertical level, um, and you can't make the main world a vertical level, so it's a horizontal level, it's kind of cut off and, like, chunked off in pieces, so, like, the flow isn't really there. You're probably gonna see what the first one here. Okay, so, you gotta, yeah, you gotta up throw that, uh, that spring at first. I'm just gonna go through each section here. But, um, I also, um... Later, I'm I'm going to go on my alt to practice because I have a level called Merid, and specifically with that level, I wanted it to be practiced for open hour. So I'm gonna go back. Uh, I'm gonna go off off the super world and going to that level. I'm probably gonna do the same for uh, Deathworm as well because I have the same thing on my alt specifically for practice for uh, Deathworm. Um, cause it's a lot better. <laughs> but both practice sections are are kind of whack. Specifically for this, um, it's more the fact that the sections are disjointed, and for when I get to it, the practice for Nared for open hour is... I pretty much, oh yeah, when making this level, um, I pretty much used every single entity. I think I only had like one or two left, so um, make I pretty much had the whole level uh, in Nared, so like making practice was annoying if I wanted to just make it one level. So it's it's still kind of whack there, so I had to delete some stuff to make things uh, work for practice. And this was at the time as well when I stopped using practice doors and practice pipes, or I guess um, like practice pipes going into the level itself because I had red coins. It wouldn't have even worked because I, um, I ran out of like entities, even if I did use practice doors and shit. I don't know if that made any sense, but, uh, yeah. Oops. Okay, you see, yeah, this is one of the things. I did this in the practice section as well, but you can see that <laughs> the, this, uh, this row of blocks right here, um, is supposed to be, uh, on-off switches, but I ran out of entities in the main world as well. <laughs> So the only on a switch here is on the right side, but more than likely, you're never going to hit on the left side here. So uh, I only put it on the right side. Oh my god. Well, oh, that's progress. So this level took around 35 hours to upload. So the whole super world so far has taken around 39 hours. 
I, I, I would not believe it would take longer than that, but it's still like, oh, if it's going to take 35 hours, oh my god, it's going to be twice as long. I'm hopefully, I'm ho hoping my Oscar uh, is going to come back. I'm, I'm struggling with this part of all things. This is not even the hardest part of the level. Completely forgot how to do this part. Okay, that's progress. Okay, so the way I'm doing it right there, um, is kind of the way that that trick, that how I found that trick. Um, but I did it. I made it to where you have to do it in such a weird way. I don't know how to describe it, but you have to get the, you have to let the shell get in front of you, right? No, you have to get in front of the shell. I think. I think instead of going like directly on the shell when you do that cancel. Excuse me, by the way. <laughs> hey, Bert. And it's so weird because you gotta cancel. I think you gotta ground pound a little bit longer, and then you do the cancel and get off. I just gotta get that muscle memory back. It's all it's all in the muscle memory, man. I don't think I've seen anyone else put this in get level before. <laughs> Oh, I got it, but I jumped too early off the uh, the right string there. Okay, that's progress. That's progress. That's exactly what I want right there. Oh, didn't do that part right. I think the next... Okay, I'd, I'm going to say pretty much done on that. Because I know the next section, uh, next practice section here makes you do that. Oops. Yep, there it is. It's not the same timing, but it's not. That's like the easiest part of level. Oh god! So you gotta, you gotta make sure you don't hit the turn block there. You gotta hit the conveyor, and then that conveyor is gonna, what should we call it? It's gonna hit the turn block uh, going up, and you go into the dragon shell, then dismount. Oh yeah, need a lot more height than that. Oh, got it. That's progress. Next section. Alright, this is the hardest part. I actually am not going to do this height yet. Oh my god, what the fuck? Is that too low? I'll do like a few times on it. I'm not going to actually try that one. I'm going to do that one last. Man, who put the the hardest part in the section? Literally. Oh, that janked out. No wonder. I was like, that seemed too low. Oh, that janked out because I literally did it from the other side. <laughs> oh, hey, I made the jump. Okay, I'm not gonna do that part yet. God, this part's dumb. Oh, yeah, it's a spin jump. That's more like how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to spin jump there. Not too hard. Oh, uh, dude, that turn back throw was pretty tough. Yeah, I'm supposed to turn back throw and then jump. I don't want to jump first. Only thing that's wrong on this part is the fact that this thwomp would go off screen. There would be a wall right there. Something like that. Here, this part right here, I definitely would want to uh, practice in the narrative practice because the movement here um, is really specific, and if you don't know it in the real level, it's like you're not gonna actually get it. Oops, that one's done. That was easy. Most part. Dude, I remember this ending used to be harder. Like, way, way harder. I'm so glad I changed it. A lot of this level used to be really hard. I have some clips on my Twitter about how it used to look like. And oh my god, I'm so glad I changed it. Man, if I could have made the bomb section easier, this level wouldn't actually have been so bad. Because the bomb section is what makes this level really difficult. Wiggity whack, yo. Oh! Easy. So hoy. That's what you get to see. Do that part of the section properly. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a, de a little detour to my alt. First time I'm doing this. Oh my god. My verse is raining. Excuse me, select. I need to go find myself. Okay. So this is the level that has a one hour practice. So uh i'll i'll just look around in it um but i'm more likely gonna use it for the last level or not the last part of the level oh my god it's we, get, we got to 40 hours
Oh, that spring did not help. Ah, I turned back to early. Oh, okay, got it. Nice. Lol. Oh yeah, I made this part to where if you did it, yeah, no wonder I put the lull there. This key doesn't have to do anything. I don't know where the key directly does. But if you manage to make it from the, uh, the like, the very beginning practice door, because I put a key there, and you do that, like, why why would you spend your time doing that? <laughs> Going from here... And all the way to the end there, like, that, that would actually be insane for someone to do. While I'm here, I'm going to practice the rest of the sections here. So you can see right here, there's supposed to be a donut on that, um, where the track is supposed to symbolize. It was like the one thing I like. I was trying to figure out what can I get rid of to where the level, like, still played the same from the beginning there, if people want to go that route. And it was a donut. It was like literally the only thing I could figure out. Oh, there's another key here. Did I put two key doors? I kind of want to check. Imagine what that is right there. Use your imagination what you think that is. Back into the super world. Oh, there's some stupid fucking neutral shit that you have to do in this level. After you hit that bomb, you have to go neutral. Yeah, dude, you gotta get that full distance on that bullet blaster, man. Oh, I almost had it. I can't wait to look at my PogChamp submission time. The PogChamp 3. That's today. officially stop right now. <laughs> I still got that muscle memory in me. Maybe this will take less than 10 hours. Okay, let's just get it. Let's, let's do one real temper. Oh. Okay, I'll call it there. But, uh, yeah. Um, if you're watching this, I was recording this live on stream. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna be stupid like that, but I'm actually pretty glad that I was able to uh, get each section down within an hour. Pretty good. Shortest session so far, but I only wanted to do the practice. So now I'm gonna, after the uh, next session, I'm gonna actually put some real attempts into this fucking level. But yeah, I'll see you then. I've already practiced this level like a week ago. I got all the sections, so. So you can see how it goes, so I can start from the beginning. The only thing I haven't practiced is the beginning. This level kind of feels good to come back to for some reason, but I know it's going to start to kill my hands. That's my PB. <laughs> this level literally lives rent free in your mind. It does for me too. There's an alt strat. Ah, rats, bro. Hey, look, PB. <laughs> That's like, uh, it's pretty much a little less than halfway throughout the level. I kind of hate how far I'm getting into this level so quickly. Part of me wants this to take longer than it took for Funeral, but it actually might not. <laughs> I, I I need to prove myself wrong on that, but, uh... That's kind of how I feel at the moment. Is this harder than trimming the herbs? I'm gonna say no. You're so gamer pilled, you think of a wrench when you see engineering. True. Oh, it's too low. 34th game over. Oh my god. Oh, 
Well, PB again. I didn't grab the fine shirt with the You love stealing. You love stealing. You love stealing. You'll be make progress here, so you're you're in the final cut. <laughs> you think they're gonna be here at your interview and say, "Is this your Twitch message?" Oh, that'd be so funny though. I don't know. I may or may not put uh, edit it in. Holy shit! Uh, Penga, thanks for the raid. Oh my god, I forgot I added that. <laughs> uh, I hope your stream went well. Uh, hello everyone for Penga's stream. Uh, I'm currently... I'm not even uploading a level right now. I'm re-beating a really hard level I am... Uh, I made way back in 2021. That took me around like 35 hours. By the way, I haven't played this level for 41 hours. It's kind of a long story. <laughs> in uh, Zeus' stream, and I, I had, I had to have it. It's so good. Brian, you for whoa there, buddy. Bro, I barely just met you. That's kind of, that's kind of sus that they say. You had a friend who was into feet. Ja, 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 ja. Now they think they're actually into it. Ja, ja, ja. So true. Um, I, 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 we might know the same person, Rexy. I don't know. Everyone has their quirks. Oh my god. I recently started watching uh, My Hero Academia, and now I, now I can't hear, unhear the word quirk ever again. I need to put some new souls in them, though, because they're... Oh my god! This level's gank, bro. Pepperoni is ugly, so he's good. Um, I don't think Pepperoni is a woman. But God, his me is so hot, dude. I mean, what? Oh. Oh, is that 37th game over? Raps. Once again. Fin de la Petri Partita. Steal my toilet. I guess it's back to shitting in the trash can. Never thought I'd have to go back to those ways, man. What the fuck? Have I not? Maybe you haven't heard it. But I have shit in the trash can before. I think twice. Question marks? I I'm just saying. You live you live in a you live in a household where you have four other siblings or three other siblings. Plus, you know, your mom and stuff. Things can happen, you know? You got you gotta go when you gotta go. Oh, dude. <sighs> Fuck. That's my PB. I press down, thank you. Oh, dude, that's the easiest part of the level, too. It was 37th game over. Gotta check my Google sheet here. Fin de la... Fin de la... But, but, like, you know what? I can't wait to play. I can't wait. I can't wait to get Just Dance 2025. Reset run, to be honest. Yeah? I mean, technically, theoretically... I got it again. Theoretically, I could do that. <laughs> I could get a faster time. Because I am overall better. Kind of get that sub-30 hours, you know what I'm saying? You can do that eventually? True. Anyone can beat any of my levels if you give it time. Depends on how much time you give it. That's something I always... Uh, I don't know, who said that? Um, is it Dab or Curbs that said that? Well, Murs, mind you that this is my second hardest level, so... If you if you can beat this, you can beat most of my other levels. Yeah, why aren't you bouncing, dog? No oh, shit. What game over is that? Or Okay, I didn't ground pound at all there. 
Oh, bro. You know, John, you can make the argument though. It's not fa it's not faster. It's not faster than my Halo run, but you can make the argument it's faster than actually completing a run. <laughs> oh my god, 50 hours. Can't believe I've been on this long for 50 hours. Can't believe it either. I can't believe it, Jaw. Okay. What? I went over it! 40 seconds. I wonder how much of this video is going to be dedicated to me saying what game over I'm on, man. Why is my language in Mexican? Uh, it's because I'm learning. Oops. Too slow. Uh, 44th. Or 43rd game over. Sup? <laughs> Literally you, pepperoni. Risk of rain, more like caution of calm. So true, miss. Cock. Oh. Oh, heavens. I'm actually gonna fucking sound someone. Okay. 44th game over. Ah, oh, my hands are sweaty. 44th game over. New timer milestone every few minutes, for real. We're breaking new ground here in this. Every second. Oh, fucking come on, someone! Oh, 45th game over. 45th, yeah, 45th. Please. I'm... 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 That's it. I'm sucking my own dick. Forty seventh game over. That's wild. <laughs> okay, uh, forty seventh game over. Oh. Fucking knew I wasn't gonna make it. Urgh. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Fat shit. I'm gonna be looking through the fucking audio recordings when I'm editing this. I'm like, why is there a spike right there? Let me check it out real quick. What is it? What am I saying here? So true. So true past me. Miss Midnight, her quirk. How do you fucking pronounce this? Somna. Somnambulus. She can put her opponents to sleep by releasing a sleep inducing aroma from her skin. She also has a fat god that distracts her opponents. So true, Flatty. Oh my god, Mount Lady. Oh my god, bro. Don't put me in the same room with her, man. You don't, you don't know what's gonna go. <laughs> oh, dude, 11. Dude, I swear my life, like, flashes before my eyes when I get on that bullet blaster. No! Oh, fuck me. Ah. Uh... Golly. It's like one of the part of the levels where I I can't die. But I I can't progress. That's my PB so far. Alright, let me see if I can make this jump real quick. Oh, it's not like you're ever gonna get a comment here. I gotta I gotta get my comments up. Let's get the shit out of you. Getting close.
You know, the first thing I was thinking there, I was like, man, I need to take a fat piss right now. And then I, I failed. So, um, hopefully it doesn't happen again like that. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I've never seen that happen before. Okay, this level's so whack, man. Who made this shit? You know what? Speaking of balls... For all the bros in chat... Check your ball for testicular cancer. 50th game over. Y'all should edge until Kalad beats this. Oh, man. What a goon sesh that's gonna be. Also, I said no gooning in my chat. No live gooning. That'd be kind of funny, though. I fucking put in my, my rules when you first open chat. You see everything else, and then you, at the bottom it says, No gooning. No live gooning. Whoever comes on the cracker first has to eat it. I, I'm pretty sure it's last. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, it's first, first, first. No, 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 no. I am so glad. Do I count this as a bomb attempt if I missed the red coin? Yeah, I made it. Yeah, it would. I if I won, I would have. I could have won there. You know, I totally didn't miss a vital component to this level to win. Oh my god! Imagine dying to that. Fifty-first game over. Oh, I don't count that as a bomb attempt. I fucked up, man. Why is it taking me so long? It's hard, Pepperoni. It's hard like a rock. Hard like Dwayne the Rock. Wait. Oh. 50 second game over. Oh my god, there's gonna be a moan in the video. I'm showing all game overs, by the way. <laughs> There's no way. That's 50. That's 53rd game over on that attempt. That's crazy, man. Oh. No. Technically, PB. 20. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I... I fucking throw the ring too early. Call me an alcoholic now, because I've done that bomb part 21 times. Oh my god. 54th game over. Given the option, would I suck myself off? I'm about to suck off the person who fucking made this level, man. I swear to God. You want to know what my PB is? That's my fucking PB. Oh no, I died. I got a game over. Oh no. Fifty six game over.
I'm so sorry, JJ. <laughs> Uh... I'm so sorry, JJ. At least you're here for a little bit. Okay. What now? We continue. 30 hours. So just short of 35. That was such inconvenient timing, JJ. Like, I literally beat it almost, like, right after you left. But yeah, that took, like, 30 hours. Wow. Uh, that took a while. Uh, <laughs> a little, little under 30 hours, um, I believe. Um, I think I'll show the actual time. It's the, the mixtape, uh, graph is gonna look kind of wild, um, because of that level. Uh, I believe revi not revival, uh, Fork Funeral, uh, took around, I want to say a little under 10 hours. So there's going to be like a big ass spike with, um, the deaths in the, in the graph, but I'll, uh, I'll make sure to show the, the graph with and without, uh, the deaths from out open hour. Okay. Uh, onto the final level. I am very surprised. Uh, so this is a level that. It's actually a collab that I did with uh, Takachan. Um, I uploaded this uh, back in twenty, early twenty twenty three. Oh yeah, I need to practice like heavily. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick detour out of the um, the real the real super world real quick, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the practice that I had for that I made for this level, uh, which is on my alt. Uh, I believe the level is uh, swapping things. Context for this level, uh, I believe this level is much harder than it really needed to be. Um, uh, I really wish I focused more on the practice for Deathworm than rather than the level that I decided to accompany this with. Um, but it's fine. I I learned my lesson with. So yeah, this is the practice. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through each section. But yeah, this is um this is a collab that I did with Takachan. That was probably one of the um the funnest experiences I had uh, because I feel like with most collabs people don't really like combine um styles as good as they can be how do I do this section and with this specifically um we kind of um like went back and forth with screenshots and uh and not screenshots but, but videos on discord and and we kind of just like edited each section that we like came up with um and kind of like critiqued each other. It was um, it was really interesting, really interesting experience I had. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a while. Have you never seen this level? Um, yeah, this is the this is the collab level. Um, looks a little different because this is practice for it. I'm supposed to drop that. Okay, I can't be bothered. I don't want to spend more time on this than I really need to. I'm gonna look at the clear video real quick. I I can't be bothered. I, I'll make this an exception. I'm just kind of tired. My apologies comments of youtube that i'm technically cheating here uh so takachan is very um known for like fast paced uh in terms uh in terms of like new soup and 3d world levels um he's yeah he makes very fast paced levels so um when we started this uh he had asked me i was like he was like uh what style do you want to do for and i was like hmm I want to do 3D World. I want, kind of want to do 3D World because um, at the time, he actually only had one level um, that was 3D World. And that was, uh, I believe, the level was called Strawberry Quartz. And uh, it was very unique compared to, uh, not compared, but at least relative to his other stuff, um, seeing what he can do in 3D World. Yeah, this drop is really hard. When it yeah, when it comes to 3D World, um, a lot of the stuff that I added in into this level... Um, a lot of them weren't actually like item tricks. Um, I feel like Takachan was the one who added most of the item tricks in this level. Okay, so at okay in that in that part of the level, um, there's a reason why there's two dry bones show or uh, dry bones there because the bomb timer is like not uh, properly set. Uh, but you do need to drop it on the on that boost pad there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you can see right there. Um, this one 
this one moved uh, later than it should have. In a real level, it wouldn't do that, but I had to compensate by putting a, a dry bone shell. Uh, no, not dry bone shell, dry bones. Okay. Oh my god, so Takachan. Okay, I, so I, for this part of the level, I gave the idea of using a twister uh, for this part, but I didn't have a, um, a good idea on how to uh, implement it. And he came up with a very uh, unique setup. Um, and it's like, it's something that, like, it's so, it's simple, but it really works um, with the, the shell that you throw just bonking the, the exclamation block. I should also say that um, that this the level the theme of this level was uh, to use exclamation blocks. Um, it, well, you can't really see it right now, but a lot of a lot of the stuff under the lava is um, uh, and the parts that I've been doing uh, are using the exclamation blocks. And it's kind of a level that made me fall in love with them uh, making just because of how like versatile they are. Okay, so you gotta pretty much throw that shell immediately. This part's a, it's a bit jank, I'll say. Um, it just, it's more dependent on your long jump there. I love that part. All right. Oh, so here I need a, I need to reset my shit. Oh my god. Beating Oprah and without you. I'm sorry I missed you. Missed it. Uh, I did beat it again. And now we're on to the last level of the Super World. Okay, I pretty much got that part. Um, that part's not too hard. So this car part. I wanted to put a car section in this level. Um, oh, you know what? I should probably talk about that other section. Um, with the bullet uh bills he was actually not up to using the bullet bills the way i i suggested but i think he grew onto it uh when because i think i i uh i believe i made that section uh work the way it does in the level i just love that uh it kind of it kind of it's, it's very reminiscent of my uh other level bulletproof uh, that was actually in the super world um i believe it was in the the second last world uh, before, or I guess the third last world, yeah. Making the uh, the bullet bills uh, launch the way they do, like go fast. So this car part, um, I believe Takachan is the one who made it. Um, I suggested the car section, and I think I, I I threw some ideas out there, but he he's the one who uh, finalized this section of the level. The way he does it though is a bit weird, I will say. Um, I know some people who were grinding this level uh, were having trouble with it when they were going off of Takachan's uh, video, but the method I do, um, if I can remember how to do it, uh, you kind of like bonk your head like twice so you make the car stop and not uh, bonk the, the blocks that push you. There we go, like that. Something like that. The way, the, the way I found uh, that was easy for me to do it, um, because the way he does it, Horses. Um, the way he did it uh, makes it to where the car bonks on the wall going up, and that was really awkward. How hard is this level compared to my average levels? Uh, I'd say it's harder than most. I believe it's like top, at least top 15. Okay, I forgot to do this part. I think I need to hold right. Though, you know, compared to the last level, this is free. Okay, so I need to do that. Oh no, he uh he ground pound. yeah we ground pound. Uh oh, also the um the dry bone section, the flying dry bone section uh before this part that I am in um was actually inspired by his other collab with uh Mermily. um with the the bonking of the uh the dry bones. Uh, it, was, it was it was really funny to uh, to have, have that part in the level. It's not like super hard, but oh okay then. Then I ground pound here. Oh, this is my favorite part of the level. Uh, so originally the level was just going to be the main world. Um, but I had like so much more ideas and he also had a lot of ideas. So we decided to make this um, a two section level. 
And when I came up with the idea of um, pushing the question block uh, with the exclamation block, uh, I think I had like a rough idea of what I wanted to do with it, but uh, Takachan was the, the one who actually like finalized it. Um, and it, it came out really good well. I'm not a big fan of like damage boosting the way we do it in the level, but it's it's really sick of how it came out, so I don't mind. Or it's not too hard. Also, I... Shit. I nerfed that section heavily. Alright, so this is the hardest part of the, this is the, hardest part of the level. Um, Taki Chan is the one who... Um, oops. I didn't mean to go in here. Uh, he's the one who made that section... Uh, I think I nerfed a few things, but um, overall, he's the one who made that whole end section. So this is probably, I'm probably going to need to practice this part quite a bit. It's this wall jump right here that's the hardest part about it. Yeah, there you go, I got it. So then after um, I do that wall jump, the P-switch is going to fall down from the icicle. I throw it, and uh, I believe I wall jump off of the exclamation block after I hit the bomb. Uh, forward. Yeah, that's tough, man. Okay, I'm getting that at least. This throw, this this part right here, throwing the P switch with a bomb on it, and then um, you grab it again and drop it. I believe that's the hardest part about this level. And it's at the end. Good, good heavens, man. Bro, I just went to Thrick's channel, man. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. My stream ran out. I was like, oh, let me go watch someone else. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Thrick. Uh, that would have been a surprise if I didn't go to your channel. I uh, hope your reverse session went alright. Oh, yeah, this is tough, man. Oh, dude, so you can't be too slow on this part. You gotta be super fast. This bomb explodes like really quickly. I got it, but like, I got the inputs for it. It's just I was way too slow, and I, I'm I'm being slow on the uh, the wall jump. Okay, got it. All right, we got everything. Good first attempt. Damn it. Okay, yeah, as you can see, um, in that part, that's how it's supposed to work. Dry bun gets pushed. Yeah, and you're too slow, you miss it. I love how you can die like that, honestly. Oh, man, I gotta be faster there. Alright, there's BB. Already halfway. Dude, that was so slow. What the hell? Oh, PB. Again. Hey, I forgot. There's a, there should be a secret piggy here. Yep, there's my secret piggy. 57th. First on... Deathworm. Yeah, they have cameras. That's true. Have you ever seen a baby bird? 58th? Game over? Wow. Where's my PB? Oh, man. Tough. That skill checked. It's been crazy if you caught that. You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for the Cybertruck to get released in Fortnite so I can, like, drive it off a cliff every time I see one. I might quit John Wick's for today. 
but I will beat this. How about a little encouragement, buddy? Did you know that stingrays and sharks are in the same family? Did you know that termites and cockroaches are in the same family? Yeah, I know a little bi biology. Should watch out, this level has a pretty tough ending. No idea what the level creator was thinking. Hey, don't blame that on me. Blame that on Takachan. Like that, okay, like, I'll be for real. The difficulty spike when you get to that part is insane. I tried to nerf it as best as I can, okay? It used to be harder. Honestly, a lot of the stuff in this level um, got nerfed because I was bad at it. Takachan is goaded, man. Like, he makes some hard shit. And I want I wanted to have it to where I was able to beat it. Uh, oh, 60th game over. It's a cold world. So is the ice. 61st. Lol. <laughs> oh my god. That's time. No way. <laughs> I flipped it. Oh my god. I'm so done. Oh, finally. That's half. We're halfway done. Oh, let's put up this music. There we go. That is Collages Mixtape 2. Holy shit. Uh, I believe that level took around six and a half hours, so that's not too bad. I was aiming for three, but didn't really work out that way. Now, get to see this. This may be the longest video I'll ever edit. Um, the this that world in particular uh took around i think I, I believe i started around the 30 maybe not even the 30 hour mark maybe the 20 ish hour mark i can't tell but i'll fix up the splits and it'll show um how long each level took relative to each other um i may show also a, um, a new graph um showing the comparing the hours compared to each other as well as the graph that I normally show, but um, I'll probably show the uh, the graph with and without open hour <laughs> in it. Uh, but yeah, this was by far one of the longest projects projects I've ever done. I started this around pretty much the same time that I uploaded the Super World. Um, not nah, th this this day is wrong. Um, <laughs> Reminder that I had to re-upload this. I believe I uploaded it back in March. It's whenever I uploaded Death Room, actually. No, I uploaded yeah, no, I uploaded it back in February, pretty much on my birthday. Um Yeah. Uh I wanna thank uh Takachan um for collabing with the level with me because that was the last level uh, I needed um before I uploaded the Super World and Yeah, pretty much. Uh hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next series of videos that I'm probably gonna do is gonna be tutorials on, on a lot of my levels, but yeah, I'm pretty much done. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.
Hello, this is a collage from the future. Um, pretty much 17 days later, um, after I have cleared the whole super world. And usually after, um, when I'm like doing my little ending, um, of the session and recording, um, I usually display the graphs that, um, that you'd see to show, uh, you know, all the deaths, game overs, clear rate, yada, yada, yada. However, I wanted to do, I wanted to add this at the end because there's a little bit more stuff that I wanted to go over um, that I found interesting since I, I took a lot of data um, of this whole process. And as you can see, that's, as you can see, uh, there's quite a bit. Um, and I just wanted to go over it um, in this and it's still recording, um, and I'll put this at the end of the video. But since open hour, um, you can see here that <laughs> when I add open hour, the, the amount of deaths I had on open hour uh, alone, it skews the graph quite a bit. Um, not for this one, but um, for this one, and I made a few other graphs. Um, as you can see, this is the game over graph. It's not, um, I won't have it here. As you can see, it's without, but for the game over graph and the, the amount of Oh wait, this is time. I'm stupid. <laughs> For the amount of time um, on each level and the the game overs, um, it didn't really affect this one too much. But so I went out of my way, um, as you can see here, that I uh, made a separate separate graphs for all the data without open hour because open hour just adds. It, it's just, it's such an outlier in the in the whole super world that. Uh, it makes reading the data a little, little bit of a problem. Um, if you can see here, um, compared to everything else, the second longest level to be was Fork Funeral, which was that took eight hours and thirty minutes, and <laughs> Open Hour alone took thirty three hours, um, which is really fucking insane to think about, and had fifty nine hundred deaths, pretty much. Um, 6k um 6k attempts and something i did throughout this whole process including the i don't think i had the graphs for um mixtape the the first mixtape i did um but i made them um specifically so i can compare and you know compare and contrast between the data for each mixtapes and for each one i actually manually counted each death um i was trying to look into a way to like automate this so i can like figure out how to um see if i can have like a bot or something count the deaths for me so i wouldn't like do it by myself but um i wound up just doing every single uh counting every single death um up until world seven um or i guess world six that's the last time i counted every single death manually and <laughs> I'll say this is the work like if I know okay uh <laughs> chill sicker if you're if you're um if you're watching um by any chance because I remember on his stream um whenever he would do it like viewer levels and such that uh he would have a death counter that automatically counts each death I don't know how exactly it works but um even then um like I counted starting over manually and like physical deaths that you die from like enemies and spikes and whatnot as deaths on their own so i had to keep track of that um so i don't know if that bot would work with this process but if i had the opportunity to do this again to just shave off so much time off of this pretty much this whole project i would have done that um once i got to world seven all the deaths were getting up to well this is a bit of an outlier in this world but pretty much 800 plus deaths um in mixtape one the highest one i believe was 1300 this is the only one i believe this is the only one that got over a thousand and i counted all a thousand of those deaths it might be a little um wrong i could I probably missed like a few deaths here and there but it was only like a few hundred deaths for like the the, the hard ones in mixtape one and maybe like a few hundred deaths throughout these um other ones but so I had to get an estimation. You can see I did the math here, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's not accurate, but it, it worked out. With the graphs I made for um, everything without uh, open hour, um, you can see how much of a dent um, it puts into it. So as you can see here, um, the whole session was 79 hours, 
practically 80. Um, and taking 33 hours out of it, it was like 46 hours without it. So like, I probably should have done the math here, but that's like a, that's a little less than half of the whole time I did this whole super world was on um, open hour and deaths pretty much um, more than half of the, no, wait, l a little less than half the deaths were on open hour. The game overs practically half. And then the, you can see the clear rate for like the whole super world. Um, it bumps it down by like, uh, what that be, 0.6, percent which is significant because it was, since it was the lowest one, it was, um, it was 0.02%, um, and that, that bumps it down quite a bit, pretty significant. Like once you start getting, you, you'll see this in Mario Maker Clear Rates, the more deaths you add to a level, like individually, let's just say you're on an uncleared level, I feel like there's a math term to explain it. It like ex it gets exponentially. Um, like if you were given a graph, it'd be one uh, over x. The x being um, actually no, I can show this actually. Hang on. Pretty much, it gets exponentially smaller the more deaths you add. And if I were to go all the way over here, um, where death five fifty nine hundred would be, oh, that's where it is. That's like. 0.2% pretty much. So the fact that open hour just puts that much in a dent into the, like the average clear rate, you can see how much of a jump it gets from those deaths that you take off from open hours. Last thing I want to touch on is the timeline uh, of all my sessions and how long it took uh, each session. Unfortunately, I can't actually get a timeline of the whole, um, of like all the gaps in between, which is what, which is what I would like to show, but I can't do that because it's behind a paywall, so it's fine. But uh, some interesting things that I wanted to show is that, so from here, from 118, 22, 118 2022 to 320-2022 is uh, mixtape 1, and then everything after that is mixtape 2. From, I want to say, I believe, yeah, 54 to 7.30, um, all this is open hour. And it's crazy to think that this time right here, um, it's pretty much more time that I spent on mixtape one or the worlds prior to, uh, world seven, just with open hour alone. Open hour was a bitch, man. But yeah, that's the last thing I wanted to touch on. Last thing I want to say in this video is the fact that why I made these videos in the first place. Um, if y'all enjoyed them, that's pretty cool, but I miss mostly made them for me, um, especially for this part. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this, but uh, this is pretty much have been a whole process of like archiving um, what it would have looked like as a super world because you can only have one super world at a time. But most importantly, um, I'll probably I know Nintendo's probably gonna do the same thing they did with Mario Maker One with Mario Maker Two, and like cut online service when like the next console is out. And so essentially, this is a way for me to look back at the whole super world. Um, in years from now, when the services aren't available anymore, it's kind of sad thing about, but it's kind of the truth. But yeah, if you, if anyone's still watching this, uh, I appreciate it. You probably like data like how I do. <laughs> it took a lot of time to do, um, but uh, I'm glad I was able to do it. Um, probably be the last big, big project that I'll do. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.